Aquarius Platinum's full-year headline earnings increased fivefold to $142 million before exceptional items. Pre-tax earnings increased to $203.2 million in the year ended June from $145.1 million previously as revenue jumped 45%. We've got a market cap of 13 billion, price earnings 13, dividend yield 2. A, a lot to talk about it, but time is against us. What really struck me is their Blue Ridge Mine, which six months ago management were talking about uh, operations going well, direct quote. Suddenly it's not going well. It's been put on uh, basically cessation of operations, cost 160 million. Ouch. Yeah, unfortunately that wasn't the best buy. Um, they just said that uh, with current costs was uneconomical to go ahead with that. So obviously they had to take the write down. But I don't think we should look at that. I mean, if you're buying into the stock now, you're going to look at the future earnings. Um, two big things for me is that firstly, it's duly listed in yeah. London and Australia. Mm -hmm. And um, there's not much liquidity in the South African market. I think it trades around 700,000 rand a day. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that Zimbabwean assets. Um, it was responsible for 20% of their revenues, but 47% of their earnings, because you know it's such good grades and uh, you know such fantastic. Um, uh, it's 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 cheap to mine there, yeah. and because they're not a South African company, they don't have the same relationship with the Zimbabwean government that uh, that our government yeah. does. So there's going to be a lot of issues there with indigenisation. Okay, so costs. They're also faced with electricity costs, very similar to what the gold miners are faced with. What is, you, what is your sense? I'm, I'm more bullish on the fundamentals behind the platinum price. And I think, you know, especially at platinum gold parity, I think, you know, platinum is offering a huge buying opportunity. Mm. But uh, same thing with the gold, with the gold miners. I'm, I'm not happy with South African miners at the moment and, you know, not happy to put my the money same, into them. They, they, they faced with the same issues. Same I mean, issues. Exactly. So it, deep mining and strikes. electricity and strikes. Electricity, the same, same issues, and you know that's what, what would keep me away. Yonat, next come to you on the wall. I mean, what we're seeing here is an RSI breaking up, looking nice. We're seeing it coming off that, that support line. Trend is down, but we could get a bounce. It could even take us to maybe 36. Is a 200 day moving average of about 38 Rand? Gary Simon, I, uh, I like uh, well, the last panic move down to the 24 Rand. Uh, particularly after breaking that uh, support at that 35 rand level, uh, or 36 rand level was very, very important, but finding good support at the 24 rand level. The RSI, as you mentioned, extremely oversold. Uh, uh, oversold. In fact, it has been the most oversold since 2009. Um, so we should see a short respite in prices, possibly testing the first resistance line, which is this green resistance line, at around the 32 odd rand level. If, if it does break that level, we could see it come back and, uh, uh, coming up again to around the 36 rand level. But again, uh, long term, 200 uh, day moving average pointing down. Uh, it's downward sloping channel, not very pleasant as far as an investor so is concerned. So for you, hot short term, certainly worth a bounce? Yes. Hot. Byron, Aquarius Platinum for you, hot or not? I know Goldman Sachs reckon they could double their share price in the ne next 12 months. I actually read their report today. But, uh, you know, I'm bullish on the fundamentals behind platinum, but not the platinum miners, so not. Simon. No, I, 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 nice little business. I, the liquidity worries me. They don't, they don't thrill yeah. me excitedly. If I want to buy platinum, it's in place. You've got one second. Uh, your hot stock pick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go a bit contrarian and talk about City Lodge. Um, one of the, the main reasons is there. I wasn't joking about the one second. Oh. Okay. City Lodge. Okay, yes. <laughs> Yonatan, you were on the show two weeks ago with Satrix. You spoke to people. I got tons of mail. Satrix looking nasty. Satrix You've is got looking two nasty. 20, 227.40 broke. We're looking at, a, at lower prices, but again, very much overextended, and yeah. we could see a small, a small respite in prices. <laughs> okay, and, I, and, I, and I, I, I promise you, both of you will have more time to talk about City Lodge and Satrix 40. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. That's it for Hot Stocks. A big thank you to our guests, Jonathan Rahm from The Winning Edge and Byron Lotter from Vestec, from Eleni Jokos and Simon Brown. It's goodbye.